Um, thanks for staying with us. Like, as you know, we can never get tired of talking about issues surrounding the girl child. And today is the International Day for the Girl Child. And we want to shine the light on some of the issues that is facing the girl child. And um, today, the focus is for the girl child. Um, this year's theme for this um, International Day for the Girl Child is, um, I think they have um, a very simple theme this year. Um, it's supposed to be, uh, <clears throat> to, um, that's, let me find it now. OK, I'm trying to find that theme now. My voice, our equal future. Yes, that's the theme for this year. And um, girls worldwide are demanding a life, you know, that is free from gender bias, um, gender-based violence, access to health, skill uh, recognition, and investment as leaders of social change. Girls are taking actions, finding their voices, and expressing their visions for an equal future. I think it's pretty much simple. There's really nothing, you know, um, <coughs> sorry. There's really sorry. nothing, yeah, there's really nothing um, new per se, mm. you know, that they are fighting for. And I'm happy um, some teenagers um, are, are coming together to say, this is what we, are, we, want. We're, we want, we're asking for. So, I mean... And I think it's the right time for us to actually celebrate um, the girl child because, you know, we had um, two women who actually won the Nobel Prize in chemistry and physics before usually it was usually the men. And I think the world has, there, there is, we can look at it in this in two ways. The world has actually recognized women as being the, in the forefront of their career. And also in developing countries, they are still fighting for their rights. Mm, so well, these are two ways we can actually know, for, look at it. Silently, women have always been, you know, in terms of technology, in terms of like science. I mean, mm. if you know the history of that, um, the NASA history, for instance, mm. you know, space and all of that, you will know that it was women that were behind all those figures. And, you know, so, I mean, I'm just happy that, you know, somehow, somehow, people, because I, I okay, I, I was talking to someone, uh, one of my coaches, you know, at some point, he was saying that, hey, you know, all these things, people are shouting, people are talking about girl child, girl child, girl child. You know, what will happen in another maybe 20, 50 years would be all of a sudden, all the energy, all the funding, everything goes to the girl child. Girl what child. then happens to, to the, the boy, boy child. child, right? So that he's saying, let us strike a balance, let us, you know, make sure that, you know. <laughs> but I don't think that that will ever happen in this world because um, from time, from when back we can remember, the, the, the male child has always been given preference in mm -hmm. one way or the other. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So we will be fine. It's only Igbo people shall that give. <laughs> <laughs> That's why inheritance. <laughs> many people also don't. Uh, uh, no, many people well, do. They do. Yeah, they, well, do. they do. They do. Yes, they do. They do. They do. All right, so, so what did you find for us in the news? So in the news today, guess what? Mm. Ganduji, Governor Ganduji, has suspended the media aid for doing what? For um, attacking the president. Mm. Why did he do this? The, pre the, the aide actually tweeted on Twitter that the government of Buhari has not given any form of empathy to the citizens of Nigeria. And this actually irked the um, governor. governor and said that he's supposed to be a public figure and he's not supposed to air his view on Twitter. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Well. <laughs> So because, well, the truth is that they say he who pays the... The tune. The, pi the, pi the piper pays the, the tune. Exactly. Uh -huh. So the truth is that uh, because you are serving under his government, mm. well, it would be wise, you know, Not to tread to carefully. But I must commend his... Um, the aid. Yes. I was going to get I must there. commend his, because his um, courage to be able to speak up. You know, I'm sure he must mm -hmm. have sensed that I might lose my job for this. There yeah. was actually a tweet he also gave earlier before he attacked the... Um, but this is not the, an attack. Okay, according so to the, them, okay. they said it was an attack. No, this so, is not an attack. I think mm -hmm. I need to let our leaders understand mm -hmm. something very critical, mm -hmm. right? When somebody comes and um, gives you constructive criticism, 
that this thing that you are doing, whatever you do in life, make sure you never lose your voice. Speak up against injustice. Speak up mm -hmm. against inaction. Speak up mm -hmm. for what you believe in. Demand for your right and yeah. never let a temporary position on uh, or privilege stop you from standing with the people. Enough is enough. Please, by all means, how is this an attack? Or how is this? I don't get it. This was the tweet he gave earlier on. Yeah. Before he so actually talked about. So what is the second tweet? The second tweet goes, let me get it out. He says this, that I have seen, I have never seen a government with zero empathy like that of the president, Muhammadu Buhari. So many times when his people are going through a difficult time and expect some sort of tap on the shoulder or to reassure them that he is in charge, but he failed to do so. So how is that so an attack? He feels that he has a, he, that is an outright um, disregard no. or criticism for if the you, government. Listen, if you come out Harry. to say you are stupid, if you come out to say, see, let me tell you something, empathy, mm. Mm -hmm. If somebody is crying that I want to, I want to show, I want you to see empathy. Everybody is saying that all these things have been happening. But where is the president? He has not said anything. We want to hear oh, our president. Oh, How will, is that an attack? I will play the devil's advocate in this aspect because I understand where he's coming from. But what he's actually saying is that it is an attack. And to me, I think that, yes, he shouldn't have aired his view, but he did. Well, Basically. because this is, a, this is a very hot topic, we're going to mm -hmm. extend what's in the news today. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're going to extend it because my story is yes. actually very, you know, is in it's line with, it. yeah. You know, because um, thankfully the, the president, I, I don't know, it's a bittersweet feeling, feeling for me. Feeling for you. Because I, I heard Uti yesterday talking about if they now end SARS and then what. I remember asking this question. And I you said there should yes. be some No, sort of I remember reform. asking this question mm -hmm. that if we... I hope we're not going to go and create another problem. You understand? Because mm -hmm. what would be the ripple effect when we end the SARS? What then happens exactly. on the street? We were coming today, the gridlock on the road, exactly. so many things happening on the road. So, um, With lots of young men on the road. On the road. That and can everywhere. Rob they, anybody. Do you understand? Everywhere. So yes. um, we reached out to um, Shego Awosanya. Unfortunately, he was not able to, to meet us because he's having a meeting in Abuja. But he sent us. Um, uh, a short demand, and this is, is stated um, five for five, that this is what the demands are. Because we're asking that now they have ended, um, the, the ended IG SARS. has disbanded um, SARS. SARS. It was breaking mm -hmm. news um, this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so he said this five for five, he says one is immediate release of all arrested protesters, justice for all diseased victims of police brutality and appropriate compensation for their families, which is valid. Totally. Setting up an independent body to oversee the investigation and prosecution of all reports of police mm -hmm. misconduct mm -hmm. in bracket within 10 days, which is very, very key because mm -hmm. um, time is of essence. Totally. Number four, it says in line with the new police act, psychological evaluation and re um, restraining in bracket to be confirmed by an independent body of all disbanded SARS officers before they can be redeployed. Very key. The number mm -hmm. five is increased police salary. So they are adequately compensated, protecting the lives and citizens or, um, and properties of citizens. Osayuwa, man. Yeah. There was something I listened to recently, and the man said something about um, policemen being unpaid, no, ill paid when they retire. That somebody served about 35 years in government and after 35 years they were, he was given three million naira as his retirement benefit let me even leave, leave so, retirement while we are let's not talk about what the politicians no, are while we are even talking about retirement month. let's even leave retirement while oh, they gosh. are in service so right why somebody he, sent why us why um, a viewer why sent us a viewer um, sent us um, mm. some questions mm -hmm. and the viewer said the key things to note does everyone answers um the um the um does every Everyone answers mean what they are asking for is mm -hmm. one and the same thing, which is to end police brutality. Mm -hmm. He said, for them to serve us well, we must demand that their welfare is also fortified. Mm -hmm. That is, from recruitment, extreme, extremely, um, living in extreme poverty. If you mm -hmm. check the police quarters, have you been there? I heard. Deplorable states. I right? Heard. Why should so they be buying? Why would this somebody the... come out from that place and think properly? Yes, this is the question. Exactly. Why should they be buying their uniforms and shoes from the market? Right? Mm -hmm. No budget slash funds by the police 
uh, the Nigerian police for, force to achieve this? Is there no budget? This person is asking the question, is there no budget? Or where is the funding going to? So these are the questions that when we are, because now we have these bandessas, what next? what next? So that we do not create another demon on, the, on our roads that we are not able to move mm -hmm. on the street. Look at what happened today, what we witnessed on the road today. On the way right? down so here, So yes. it is important that while we are saying that, yes, we have won, on one hand, we should now look what for next? solutions, mm -hmm. right? There is a big elephant in the room. Corruption still remains a big elephant in the room. So how are we, how are we um, what's it called, fighting this thing and curbing it? Police reformation starts from the top. It is so important that we need to understand this. So because that, those are the issues that we are going to keep talking about, you know, because for us, as we said on Friday, hmm. SARS for us is an unending conversation. It's not something that we just talk and we just leave it there. And aside from that, do you know that even the policemen currently are also, let me come back again to the flaws of the police. The policemen, based on what has happened and SARS, they have... Um, tend to tend towards violence, thereby hurting civilians. Of course, and protesters. a lot of reporters today same, were they were they were they were, were, be, they yes, were beaten up, you know. And at the there same time, a, 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 um, a another television in, station, um, his head was a broken. Show. A yes. teenager was killed at yes. a bomb show. So, so I'm so happy that they are calling for justice appalling. for everyone that have that um, they have lost their lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, the young boy Jimo, look at his father sobbing like a baby, it was not a good sight to behold. I saw a lot of protesters today when I was going home, and mm -hmm. I saw that, you know, this is, this is not a good sight to behold. So exactly. outside of this, we've come with one voice, so let us be very clear on our agenda, and let us fight this thing through, not with violence, not with insult. I'm not one party to be insulting anybody, please. Exactly. Let us be very smart about this, and let us be clear on our goals. So we'll see you after the break, as we discuss the girl child. Please stay with us.